hello friends uh, welcome again and this is manual project online mobile store and uh, i have developed this project in java jsp and mysql and i am running this project on the tomcat 7 server so if you have the tomcat 8 then you can also run this project on the tomcat 8 also if you are using the netbeans or the eclipse then you can configure that project also in the netbeans and eclipse but it must have the tomcat server right i didn't check this project on the glassfish server so i can't commit anything about the glassfish server so for running this project the mandatory server version must be the tomcat 7 or 8 okay i have not tested this project as well as on the tomcat 9 or 10 right so for jdk i am using the jdk version 1.8 so this is all about the server technology and for database i am using the mysql 5.6 and for connecting the database with the uh, jsp and java i am using the mysql j connector and uh, you will get it from the server uh, from the mysql.org website so this is all about the backend technology for front end i am using the html css and javascript some of the jquery library also i have integrated in this project for integrating the dates as well as implementing the form validations for this is also a basic bootstrap thing means if you uh, resize the screen then the size means the design will be sent out and will be it will be fit according to the screen size so this is all about the technology so the title of the project is online mobile store and it's a mini project and uh, it has only and only customer login it doesn't have the admin login functionality because it's admin it's a mini project if you need the admin functionality then i have the same project on with the admin functionality with the major project but it's a mini project that's why it's a customer functionality so let's start with the customer uh, let's start with the functionality go through so you can see this is the home page of the project so this is the banner and this all products are coming from the database right so currently there are 12 products available in the database and all are coming from the database right so if you want to add more then you can directly add into the database and that product will be reflected here if you click on the product then the information of the product will be displayed here and also you can add it into the cart right so i have two uh mobiles is available into cart and if you click on the continue shopping then you can uh, jump into the page and after that you can also add the information add the product into the cart so there are three items now you don't want this one then you can delete it and after that you can proceed to check out so there is one restriction for the project if you doesn't have the user id and password then you can't make the purchase right so you must have the user and password for making any of the purchase and if you don't have the user and password then you can register it from here so i am logging as a customer the customer username is amit at gmail.com and the password is test and what is the shipping address i am entering the junk data and once you click on the proceed to payment then it will ask for the credit card information this is a dummy okay and no in external turn external hits will be done and nothing will be saved into the database so you can uh, enter any actual garbage and junk data here once you click on the make payment then you can see your order number 18 and there are two items you have ordered that is a geomi mi and the nokia this one and the total cost is 13 1, 3, 1, 3, 1, 7, 0, right so this is the full flow means customer can add the uh, customer can see the list of the products customer can see the details of the project after that he will be able to add the card if you want to remove the items from the card then he can remove it also also he will be able to proceed to check out and he will enter his card details and after that he will submit the payment and that is will be displayed there for the order confirmation this is the workflow right so this is the dashboard this is a customer dashboard and customer can see all of the past orders with customer order is 16 17 18 which has been done by custom login customer and also he can see all of the order items so this is the order items the one customer will not be able to see the items of another customer this is the restriction right so this is the my account section from where customer will be able to update his account details right and after that uh, that account details will be saved into the database this is all about the customer functionality now 
<laughs> this is the about us section from so this gets coming from the static page and if you want to change it then you can update it to the static page this is the all mobile section means all of the mobile which is available in the database will be listed here here and you can filter the mobiles from here that what type of uh, mobile you want to looking for then you can filter the mobiles from here right and after that the same things is also happening here is available here so if you want to uh, filter out the details then you can filter it from here this is the registration so as i told you earlier that if you want to register then you can register from here and after uh, that you will be able to uh, log in as with your email id and password this is the contact us section from where customer will be able to send the message to the admin but it's a static form there is no email and i am not saving the information of this contact us anywhere in the database so this is all about the project and the as i told you earlier this is a mini project with uh, which has been developed in java gsp and mysql and you can run this project on the tomcat server as well as netbiz and the eclipse server so if you need more functionality in this project just put it into the comment i will incorporate those changes and i will make this project according to your requirements and don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest video updates on the latest technologies thanks for watching the video thank you very much